All right, now we're going to do a second quick and dirty look at the Anvil Hawk. In my first review, there's a visual bug on the cockpit, which was ugly, that has since been fixed. Also, it is my favorite light fighter. So I thought I'd look at it again. Why is it my favorite light fighter? Well, it has six weapon hard points that are forward facing. Now they are all fixed uh, and you could gimbal some of them, but personally, I think it's annoying to have half and half. But with the six weapons, you have roughly 2K damage, which blows most light fighters out of the water. In the back here, we have a prisoner seat. So in the future, when you need to do quests or missions or bounties, where you have to capture people alive and turn them in, you can do that in the Hawk. It has two size one shield generators, which is not uncommon for a light fighter or a medium fighter, but it does mean that you can get twice as much shield and twice faster regen than the handful of fighters that only have one shield generator. Looking at you, Anvil Arrow. Also, I just absolutely adore the look of this ship because it's weird. Uh, it doesn't look at all like a fighter plane, which is a cool look, by the way. I don't have anything against that look. I prefer the ships that look more like spaceships and less just like planes. Also, it means that the landing gear animation is more involved and interesting. And last but not least, one of the things that, there, that you have to fall in love with is the EMP. Now the EMP system, to most effectively use it, you need to take down an enemy shield first, and that'll be pretty easy since about a thousand of the 2,000 damage that this ship outputs is distortion damage, which just melts shields. And then you have to go click this to do on. And then you right click to hold it. I mean, you hold right click to charge it. And then you let go. Now you have to be careful um, because it heads out and shoots out in all directions. It's easy to accidentally hit friendly targets and get a crime stat. Um, but if you do melt an enemy shields and then, or at least one of their shields and then EMP them, they will be dead in the water, making them really easy to take down. You also, if you have this ship, you might want to upgrade your power plant because shooting your weapons and maneuvering too much and using your EMP all at once can sometimes cause power problems. All right, now let's go get in the fight. There we go. All the weapons are so quiet now. So the ship doesn't have missiles, which is a bummer because it has EMP instead. Oh. So as you can see, against other tiny light fighters, well, all the light fighters are tiny, but that Mustang Delta went down in three hits, four hits. You don't have missiles, but you do have EMP, and you don't have gimbaled weapons, but you're so nimble that it doesn't, it matters, and it is harder to get hit sometimes, but it doesn't matter that much. All of these things, plus the dope looks and the EMP are one of the reasons why the Hawk is one of my favorite weapons. Ships. Oh. So happy hunting.